I forget email. <laughs> I can't believe I'm telling this story. So no one really know, like I know my sister Shirley then she knows like bits and pieces of the story or whatever. So Hi guys, today I am coming to you with a story time. Uh he was a fuckboy and I forget him. Like, this is all fuckboys and they stuff. That's a whole nother story. Like, we need to stay away from it. But, I mean, I forget this fuckboy. And he probably, if he's watching this, he's probably mad. I'm calling him a fuckboy. But, you know what you did. And what the story about to tell, it was a fuckboy shit. And, holy, <laughs> he is not watching this right now. <laughs> probably. <laughs> if you're watching this, another video. Okay. So we're going to call him Philly. You were going to call him Philly because that's where he's from. He's from Philly. So me and Philly, we started talking, I want to say, what's today, 16, 2016? Like for 2014. You know, met through social media or whatever. I can't remember where exactly how it was. Cause inspired that is not the right word but how everything happened us talking or whatever so you know as time went on progressed on we were talking like i mean me and dude were talking all day i mean i was talking to him like i'm a very private person i'm very i'm not you know i'm very standoffish when i'm especially when it comes to people of the male species i'm just very standoffish like now, I don't trust you, get about my circle, but I was slowly letting him in. You know, I was, we were talking every day, we were scuffling it all the, like, almost every day, not every day, almost every other day, or whatever. Um, so, mind you, this whole time we've never, like, physically met in person, which I'm like, at this point, I'm kind of happy because if I got really got like we met and all this happened and I was in my feelings like he was gonna be my co-star on Snap for real, for real. So we're talking. I say I want to say this happened 2015. I want to say like early 2016, late 2015, late 2015. This was happening. It was in a fall. I remember it because I was on. So, when I'm into someone, I am searching the web for him. Like, I'm searching the web. I'm look, searching your first name, your last name. I can come up with your mama's name and her address. I am an FBI, CIA agent. For real, though. So, you know, that's not for so, One day, we're on Twitter. Like, I'm on Twitter. He makes a post or whatever. He was like, honestly, I thought the... I thought this post was towards me. He was like, oh, all your, something about all these thoughts. I got a real woman, blah, 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 blah. I was like, oh. So I'm not one of the, I don't know why. I'm not one of those ones, like, I want to be seen all on social media. Like, I'm not going to go post on this. I'm not going to go like this. Like, I'm, like, very laid back. Like, if you post something, you post a picture, I'll like it or whatever on Facebook, Instagram, or whatever. And, okay, I was like, okay, still nothing's changed, we're still talking all the time, we're still texting, you know, nothing's, like, nothing, nothing far as our communication changed, he's not really changed, like, he hasn't changed or anything towards me, like, everything is cool. So, <clears throat> one day, I go on to Twitter, I go to go on his page. And how his page is set up is private. So, you know, if someone has a private Twitter account, once they unfollow you or um, yeah, unfollow you, uh, they, he unfollowed me, so therefore he made, it made me unfollow him. Something like that happened. And his page was private. And I was just like, so you unfollowed me on Instagram, on Twitter or something? Like, I, I messaged him that. And I was I confronted him about some messages. He didn't respond back. He didn't respond back. So I goes on to his Facebook. And it's a picture 
and it's like him it's not a picture of him it's just like a park setting it's in the fall that's what i remember it was in the fall when this happened and he was basically just like i was well some special someone i was just like burr excuse me when did i come to philly sir excuse me now <coughs> now before this moment happened I was always up front and honest with him, like, be honest with me, tell me what's up, don't make me look stupid, like, don't play with my emotion, tell me what's up, tell me what's 100 all way, don't play with my feelings, I, I, has, I have said that to him on numerous occasions, like, any dude I deal with, I'm, I tell them on numerous don't play with my feelings, like, tell me, like, tell me, what stuff don't lie to me don't spoon food, feed me no lies tell me what's up tell me if you're not in it like that cool let me know oh i'm feeling someone else cool i can fall back because if you don't oh uh, let me guys i'm talking to you if you don't let a female know that you are not feeling her like that you're not into her like that that you feeling someone else no, she is not crazy. Because if you are doing things to make her feel like she is special, like she is someone special, and you're not being out front and honest with her, how do you expect her to fall back? And everything, you, all the signs that you are giving this female is that you want her, you like her, you want to be with her. Now, granted, you do have females out there that you like, I don't want you. And they will still stalk you. But majority of us will be like, cool, it's cool. And we'll fall fall back. And we gonna go. But best believe, when we fall back, our attention's gonna go somewhere else. I'm just saying. So I saw that. I saw the picture or whatever. So I sent him a message. You know, I was like, I was telling him, like, you know, that's wrong, that's dirty, you shouldn't have to do me like that. I told you from Jump Street, you ain't have to do me like that. You could have been up, like, if you was feeling somebody else, you could have told me. I ain't, you ain't, you ain't even have to, like, do me like that. Like, you could have told me, and we would have been good. Like, we would we still been cool. So, after that, you know, <clears throat> some months go by, I say, this year, it was around this year, I would say, I would say around spring, late winter, early spring, I got a message from him, and he, it was just, he, he was apologizing, he was like, I, 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 I mean, honestly, I can tell that it was very, a very genuine apology, it was, you know, I'm sorry that I played you like that, like, you know, you were, you know, the whole made to person spiel or whatever, and, you know, holding like that, I was just like, he was like, I hope you could forgive me, and, you know, at that point in my life, I was in a really good point in my life, like, you know, I was chilling, I was, I was getting snatched, my waist was getting skinny, my ass was getting fatter, my boobies was getting higher, and the chins were going away. I need to get back to her. So, you know, I sent some message and I was, I told, I responded, I was like, you know what? You really, well, I told you, you really hurt me when you did me like that. You just left me hanging. Like, you left me hanging and it really, really hurt. Oh, whatever. So, after he did that, and I'm trying to, I'm, like, I keep looking at this, I'm just trying to remember how everything, of course, happened. So, we slowly started back talking. We still talk to this day. It's like, I don't fully trust him. Like, my feelings aren't for him like they were before. Because, you know, we had issues. But, you know, you have to go through things with people to build a relationship to bring, you know, build stuff on between you, like, so, now to this day, the state of our relationship, like, I mean, honestly, 
I don't know what it is at this point. It's like he's very he's become way more affectionate than he was before. Like, you know, he was more like you know, good morning babe, how are you? How's you know, how was work? You know, are you okay? Like I don't know. I really don't know. I'm just like, I'm very, I, I've told him like, you know, my guard is really, really up right now with you because of our past. You know, I mean, I really don't, honestly, you know, he has mentioned, told me that, you know, they're no longer together. I don't know the full backstory of what exactly happened. I would honestly like to know one day just from my own personal curiosity because it's just like, you, first of all, I'm, I'm, I'm hella cuter than her. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Like, like what? Like, you left to lay me on for top ramen? Okay, but, you know. Like, I want to know, but I do want to know, like, what happened between them. If you're watching this, sir, that is my curiosity. That's what I want to know. Like, I know you like, you know, that's the past. That does nothing to lose you, blah, blah, blah. It's just my own personal curiosity. Like, I want to know what happened. Like, what was it in this person that I didn't have? But honestly, I believe it was because that person was there in Philly. I, I, like, I know that's so strong. Like, I feel like that's... Shorty only had that over me. Over me, like... No, but I mean, right now I don't know what it is. It is what it is. We're chilling. We talk. We have a good time. We laugh. But huh. I mean, don't. I'm not. This time I'm not out here curving dudes like I was before for him. And <laughs> no, like I'm like, if I like you and I'm attracted to you, I'm gonna take that number. I want to talk to you and want to talk to you. Like, I'm like. No, I'm not going to be out here with curving. No, because I'm just like. You set this tone for what is going on. I'm not out here curving. No, I'm not. I'm not curving away for you. No. The spot you were in, he is in. Yes, there are dudes that I talk to that come before him. Like, simple as that because I'm just like you know or I come up or no that's another story time <laughs> it's not really a story time it's just a very interesting I think I do a uh, get ready talk about it and talk about him story time or whatever my story time get you know do my makeup talk about him little whole spiegel about him but you know I'm young and I'm just keeping my options open. That's it. That's all. Like, ain't no ring on my finger. There's no title put on me. There's nothing. There's no commitment. Nothing. So, I'm going to do what I want. That is my motto of 2017. I do what I want. But, <laughs> that's the story of the time... He was a fuck boy and I forgave him. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed telling the story. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I think it's like a bell or something right down there. Make sure you click that to get notifications whenever I post so you don't miss out on anything your girl throw. Because 2017 is about to be the year of Jesse Bo. And this YouTube thing is about to pop off for me. Well, I'm going to try. I'm going to work on it. <laughs> but, do that. Comment below your fuckboy stories. Because I know we all have some. Might not have been as, you know, forgave him. Because sometimes, you shouldn't forgive him. But I don't know why. Because he, I don't know. It's Fox Black, whatever. I'm a very forgiving person. That's one of my, my downfalls. But, leave that comment below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys. Love you.